Hi everyone, this is Rizgar from Sciential and welcome to this webinar about the basics of digital advertising. It's a great day to record this webinar. I'm based in Rotterdam at the moment where our head office is located and it's a sunny day. And what I'm gonna talk to you about is um, the basics and then specifically the following topics. I will give you a bit of insights on the basics of paid digital advertising on Google, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn and about how to set up a digital advertising campaign. Of course, this will be specifically for life sciences marketers, for anyone who is active in life sciences, biotech, medtech, um, will definitely benefit from this webinar. Before we start, you know, I think it's important to have a look at um, an ad like this. Um, it says spread vaccines, not variants, donate doses now, and vaccine inequity. So this is a, um, yeah, an ad with quite some, some impact, I think, emotionally, um, and also, yeah, also uh, in terms of uh, how important these type of advertising campaigns are. And what I want to emphasize is that digital marketing is definitely a powerful marketing tool to distribute your message. So whether you want to go for awareness for something, or you want to uh, yeah, generate leads, or you want to increase your revenue or whatever your goal is, if you want to distribute a message, having uh, uh, ad campaigns through digital marketing is very effective. And that's why I will go through all these channels that are available for you. Um, so yeah, I would like to start with Google Ads, the basics. So uh, Google Ads is actually uh, Google's advertising platform for uh, companies within the life sciences. Uh, it works well for both uh, business to business uh, and uh, business to consumers. Um, it's a relatively advanced platform uh, where you can really go uh, far with uh, data analytics and integrations with other type of uh, digital marketing tools. Um, it has a very handy uh, keyword planner feature that can help you set up uh, ad campaigns. Um, the type of ads that you can actually set up there are search campaigns. So meaning that if someone uses the Google search engine to look for a product or whatever they're looking for at the moment, that your uh, ad pops up first and that they will click on your ad. And uh, yeah, that way uh, they will see your brand. Uh, there are display campaigns, meaning that you actually, uh, yeah, buy, um, um, well, you actually uh, advertise on third-party websites. So for example, your target audience goes to another website and they see a banner, um, with your company name on there or a specific message that you want to communicate to them. Um, there are also video campaigns. So you can uh, yeah, make sure that uh, someone sees your video before they actually watch one. It's also an, uh, uh, on YouTube. It's also an advertising feature. You have shopping campaigns, which is maybe a bit more relevant if you're directly selling uh, products to consumers. You have app campaigns where Google helps you to uh, have your target audience download an app um, or yeah, being promoted. And then there are a bit more also local campaigns to promote uh, yeah, more uh, 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 locations on many channels or uh, to automate your advertising uh, campaign. So you also have so-called smart campaigns. As I said, it can go very far. Um, some examples within the life sciences field is for example, if someone searches for uh, medical software, this is an ad that I saw from uh, engesoftware.com uh, where they had their ad being shown up in my search results whenever I search for medical software. If I look for apps uh, that have something to do with diabetes, I first see these ads popping up uh, for diabetes management apps. Um, if I Google blood pressure monitor, uh, you will, for example, see shopping ads for uh, yeah, measuring your blood pressure. And I have an example here of display ads where uh, there's a, an ad for uh, an, a Congress about peer reviewing that popped up into my uh, screen. Uh, so these are some uh, examples of where you can place your ad. Then um, looking at Meta, Meta is of course the rebranded uh, company uh, that was previously Facebook. Um, Meta for Business allows advertising on both Facebook and Instagram. It's an advertising uh, platform that works quite well uh, for business to consumers. Uh, so for business to business propositions, uh, 
can be useful, but it is a bit more, uh, yeah, if you, for example, want to reach patients uh, or want to recruit people for your company, uh, it's relatively easy to use. Um, it's also a bit, yeah, it's also relatively affordable, similar to uh, Google. And yeah, it has a handy uh, integration of uh, uh, Facebook and the Instagram ads. So if you place an ad uh, for Facebook, you can also distribute it on the Instagram. I have ads are, uh, yeah, maybe also already experienced with uh, watching uh, ads on uh, Facebook or Instagram where you're on there, but they have photo campaigns where you can see a photo or a video uh, that starts playing. Um, they also have story campaigns where you see short uh, videos in a full screen. Uh, they have carousel campaigns where you have clickable ads, so basically sort of a slideshow. Uh, messenger campaigns where you can, for example, do uh, conversational ads. Um, again, also a slideshow campaign that's a bit more for uh, Facebook ads. Um, they have playable campaigns, so if you want to promote an app, that can be quite useful. Uh, and they also have features, advertising features with in-stream video campaigns and uh, reels. Some examples, um, this is actually for uh, yeah, pharmaceutical company that has been advertising on Facebook um, where they promote a video. Um, and this is an example of a photo. It's a bit more uh, static. Um, by the way, video tends to work better, uh, but you know, always it's a good idea to test both. Then uh, there's LinkedIn ads, which is very relevant for business to business propositions. Um, so yeah, LinkedIn ads is the uh, advertising platform on LinkedIn. Uh, it's also relatively easy to use. It is relatively expensive, but then again, uh, you can target quite uh, uh, narrow because everyone that uses the platform has um, uh, shown which role they have or which characteristics that can be relevant for your ad campaign. Um, they do have advanced profile-based targeting options, which can really help you to uh, create uh, narrow uh, ads. These are some type of ads. So again, photo, uh, video, carousel. You can also promote events. Uh, you can use messaging. There are specific lead generation campaigns, text campaigns. Uh, you can set up campaigns to generate followers, uh, or you can highlight a product if you'd like to. These are some uh, examples of uh, ad campaigns that uh, we launched. So this is a playable video. Someone scrolls through LinkedIn and see this play video being played. And this is a static uh, banner actually. So sort of a photo uh, that doesn't move, uh, which is also an optional way of advertising. Now that you know a bit more about which platforms you can use and for what, uh, I wanna show you how you can set up actually an advertising uh, uh, campaign yourself, how to strategize that. So we always recommend having a look at the customer journey model, um, looking at this model specifically, see things through care. So first, when someone, you know, assuming that someone doesn't know uh, anything about your brand or product or company, you first want to create awareness. So you want them, customer or client or target audience, to see your ad for the first time. And with this, of course, comes the type of advertising that works well for this. Once they've seen your ad, what happens is they will uh, think about actually, uh, you know, considering uh, working with you or purchasing your product or uh, purchasing your service. So they're in the think phase. They're considering your brand. And then after that phase, uh, once you've been able to uh, make your target audience think, you want them actually to take an action. So that's doing. And this is where you want to convert them. So you try to convince them of working with you, uh, purchasing a product, attending a webinar, whatever your goal is. And then once that person has actually uh, become a client or a customer or has attended an event that you've promoted, um, then comes care, which is that you want to drive some loyalty uh, for these uh, clients or customers. Now, a lot of questions that we get about um, what should you actually uh, use? in a uh, type of content. Uh, luckily, LinkedIn has a lot of data on that. Uh, specifically on this topic, uh, what they also did was compare different types of uh, marketing assets, so promotional material. So here you see blogs, you see case studies, eBooks, in-person events, interactive content, podcasts, videos, webinars, white papers. And then uh, looking at the different uh, phase. Uh, so we had a look at uh, your customer journey model. 
where you want to create awareness, you want to make them sell your brand or convert them. Here you can see what works best. So when you're actually trying to drive awareness, blog posts, articles, podcasts, eBooks, and videos work very well. You can see that here in the percentages that LinkedIn showed in as in what is the most effective. Then for the consideration phase, when someone already knows your brand or your product or your company name, and you want them to consider working with you or purchasing something, taking an action, that's where white papers, webinars, or interactive content uh, does quite well. Then if you really want to uh, uh, convert someone, making sure they register or they uh, uh, ask specifically uh, to go into a call with you or you know, whatever specific action you want them to take, so converting them, then a case study works well or uh, an invite for an in-person event or a webinar where they, for example, leave behind their um, credentials or uh, information. Um, so these are some uh, uh, tips on how to uh, tackle the conversion, uh, uh, the lead conversion funnel of the customer journey. What we also always recommend is to have a growth hacking mindset. So with growth hacking, we mean that uh, you approach all your advertising campaigns uh, with a data-driven approach, which means that you test different ads, you do a lot of A-B testing and you see what works best. So growth hacking really means that you're actually hacking your own growth by seeing what works best in terms of advertising. We always recommend to just experiment with, for example, one to two weeks with ad campaigns with low costs between let's say 50 or 200 euros per campaign and just seeing how the ad goes. Ideally comparing both ads at the same time um, where the best performing ads can be skilled at a later moment. With this, of course, as I said, A-B testing is quite uh, important. You want to test different variables. Ideally, two ad campaigns should have, uh, yeah, most uh, variables the same, where you just change one of the variables to see what uh, the difference is in uh, the performance of the ad. So first of all, you can definitely just uh, test Google versus LinkedIn and see which one does best in terms of uh, uh, cost efficiency or effect. Uh, make sure that you don't underestimate that uh, patience and time is also needed to actually draw some good conclusions. Um, you can test different targeting methods. So for example, you can select in LinkedIn uh, an audience or you can upload a list of companies or maybe even uh, emails from your own CRM system and then see which type of uh, targeting method works best. Um, then, of course, messaging is something that you can test. So if your product or company uh, has a certain uh, unique selling point that, you know, you have multiple unique selling points, you can actually see with which ones uh, people are uh, more willing to click or to convert or, yeah, depending on your goal. Um, then the ad format, you can test a video versus an image, for example. Um, and something to also consider is the lead form uh, or landing page. So if you're using a lead form on LinkedIn or you have a landing page, uh, you can test uh, different calls to actions or uh, different uh, ways of structuring your landing page. So the idea really is to test everything uh, within the conversion funnel um, until someone actually uh, yeah, converts, clicks, registers, whatever your goal is, and to compare the different uh, uh, circumstances. Then some tips on how to uh, design an app, some tips for visuals. Uh, yeah, always place your uh, logo or company name, make sure that people actually see from who uh, the app campaign is. Uh, communicate the value proposition uh, for your audience, think what's in it for them, have a relevant image or visual and always have a clear message or call to action. Really make sure that that's uh, clear to the audience what you want from them. Um, some additional kick tips are to keep in mind the right uh, sizes and shapes of the ad campaigns so that it looks nice. Always use high quality images. Um, you can use videos or animations to attract a little bit more attention. It uh, tends to work better and keep the design clean and simple. Do not overdo it. Thank you for watching this webinar. I hope it was useful to you. If you have questions or if you would like to receive the slides from this webinar, there's a form below that you can fill in. Please leave your email behind and we will send the slides to you and get back to you with your questions. Thank you and have a great day.